and fork and we just got out of dollar general and i spent like 26 dollars, but i got really good deals like i got i'll have to show you um before i show you um this sounds bad glenn i call you clarence clarence clara uh glenn when we first went in was taking a little bit longer and I was like, hey, Glenn, I was standing here at this piece of chocolate. Somebody dropped on the ground. I was like, did you, uh, I'll give you five bucks to eat this. What'd you say? I said, you better give me something more. So I was like, 20? And of course, he decides he wants something different. And, uh, I sure did off and went inside. I found a big bunch of good deals. Then when we came out, Glenn's like, okay, I'm gonna eat it. And I'm sitting here like, no. Let's like, get your camera. And if, you, if he gets like half a tie or something from that, then he's gonna give it to me and then I'm just gonna die because I got a little immune system. So no, we ain't even like, Chocolate and antiseptic. Whatever, we ain't doing it. I got this for one dollar. One dollar. Get a minute, that's a good deal. I don't even think that was Clarence she gave it to me. It's originally six dollars. And I got that for a dollar. I need a new sports bra because one I'm wearing it hurts. And then are we getting speedway drinks? Yeah. We're getting speedway drinks! I like to have unsweet tea, please. Okay, going in. Yeah, you're going in. I'm giving them my car haul. Undivided attention? I'm giving them a car haul. I got this, a white one, and then a black one for a dollar, and it's cotton stretch girl sports bra. So I figured that it'd fit me maybe hopefully and i can just wear them like sleep in or whatever so and they're stretchy so i don't know why they wouldn't because you know i'm not big breasted so it should work out for me let me turn you guys around and um yeah i got this for a dollar as well two for 50 cents a piece and then <clears throat> my total at big lots was 27.19 so it wasn't that bad i got a lint roller because ella's shedding everywhere i got some glitter nail polish which you know i have so much nail polish anyway so what's one more right um i got some mascara i thought it was pretty pretty good deal and this is the curling waterproof mascara you can never have too much mascara as long as you don't open it it don't go bad and um LA Colors, you know I like LA Colors just because it's cheap and it's usually good quality. So I got the LA Colors Contour Stick and it's ultra blendable and it's highlight and brighten. Highlighting like a pro. I thought this would be kind of good to use because I haven't been doing my makeup a lot. I just kind of threw on like eyebrows today and I threw on a little bit of eyeshadow and some mascara and eyeliner, but I didn't do anything spectacular. And then I did get this lip polish. I thought it was a um, pretty good little deal for a dollar. And it is Luxury Shine Lip Polish. Nothing more to it. And then I really gambled. I took a gamble. And I got this. But if you look, it really kind of matches my tone. It really does. So I got that for a dollar. And it's Dream Satin. And it's Maybelline. So, you know, can't go wrong with Maybelline. Everything's pretty good. And I got it for a dollar. And I thought, hmm, why not? And uh, it's, I'm usually creamy beige, but this is classic ivory. So, I mean, maybe I've, you know, it's wintertime. Maybe I'm not so tan as I normally am. So, that's all I got at Dollar General. I did, however, I did, however, get some more things. Oh, I don't know if I can get to them. He's got everything back here from today's shopping haul. Oh. Um, I also got some more things at Dollar General. I got household cleaning supplies. I got the odor control. They smell really good. I got the odor controlled. Let me show you guys. Trash bags. And it was like right under $5. And I got 25 bags. They're tall kitchen drawstring bags. And they're tropical scented. And it's, you know, to reduce odor. So, yep. That's a good find for me. I need something. Can we just get regular garbage bags and then when you put stuff in them especially when i change the dog's cage out and everything it's it just smells bad and i'm constantly going through garbage bags because i don't like the house smelling like garbage so i've been experimenting with different like i like the glade 
garbage bags and I've got the vanilla scented garbage bags and I like them so I was like why not try the tropical scent so and then for the dishwasher gotta have these I'm actually out and I had a hand do dishes last night oh I forgot to get Brillo pads crap I forgot to get Brillo pads but anyway I use Brillo pads to clean like on pots and pans like we don't have like fancy pots and pans we just got just normal pots and pans and I just, they're older so I uh, scrub them with a Brillo pad but when we get our house and I do get all brand new kitchen you know cooking where I'm probably not going to be using a Brillo pad but I I do want to use those erasers I think I like them pretty well with cleaning um, I'm thinking in their future especially when we get a house then I'll do a lot of cleaning videos with you guys and try different like home remedies on cleaning supplies and of course go bargain shopping and show you what I get for my household and uh Glenn actually picked this up it was like under two dollars and it's a fabric refreshener and he got this for um his bean bag because uh, it smells like farts. <laughs> um, it's compared to Febreze, and you know Febreze is pretty pricey, so it smells good. It works. I actually have bought that before, and uh, I've not had any problem because I do have dogs in the house, and I like to spray their little beds and you know what they lay on and the carpet. We don't have carpet through the house, I, except for I do have carpet in my bedroom, but I have rugs down, and I do have carpet rugs. That's just their carpet because they're great big aerial or area rugs and um i'm a little hyped up on coffee today so bear with me i have a lot of area rugs in the house and i like to spray fresheners and did he give me a coffee if he got me a coffee i'm gonna love him forever but i don't know if it's for me it's probably for him what's that coke freezing oh yes you cook freezing the only other kind that I thought you might like is a wild cherry, but I wasn't sure. No. Huh. Here, take it here. I'm sorry. Here. He's so mean. He's short tempered lately. He's very short tempered lately. That's what she did. I don't know what's been into him lately, but he's been very, very, very short-tempered. Extremely short-tempered lately, and it's not been um, very pleasant with him. I think he's stressed out with us getting a house and just everything in general. I was trying to have a baby and working. And... Here, take it. I'm sorry. Well, you can't. What, is they on the phone? Will you go and do my review on the way home guys bargain barn guys I'm so sorry I just don't know what's wrong with this car mount it just keeps falling all the time is it just two bags yeah. did we do any other shopping today just these two yeah. Oh yeah, we went to Walmart too. We got a lot of things today. We did a lot of shopping today. Hold on. Are you sure you don't want to get your grocery shopping out of the way? No. We'll do grocery shopping some other time. I got enough to last this week. Okay guys, so. What are you doing to me? Oh. Um, okay, so. To continue with my little shopping haul for you guys, I thought it would be fun to show you guys everything that I got. But before I show you guys what I got, I want to show you my speedy drink. Speedy's not small. Is it bad? It's okay. Really? Because that face, that face you made. Tea is hit and miss. And especially with me drinking unsweet tea, okay. I drink, I gotta get my glass, I don't do my glass. We'll be out of the sun, won't we, here in a minute? Um, I drink unsweetened tea. I know that sounds so disgusting. A lot of people say, like, ooh, you drink unsweetened tea? How disgusting. And, wait, before, I'm sorry to get off topic, but why does it look like that? Like, they built an arc wall. What, that blue wall? Yeah. Because the doors are smaller than the wall. Anyway. 
anyway, um, um, back on topic. I drink unsweetened tea, and I get my unsweetened tea usually at Speedway. And uh, the cops, he's got somebody. He got him one. You get, can't, shouldn't he put his lights? Yeah. What do they do? Like, you ain't getting Wendy's today. What do they do? Huh. Anyway, That's it's. Why I to put my seatbelt on. It's a speed trap around here. Anywho. So. So. I drink unsweet tea. Let me finish this topic first. <laughs> I drink unsweet tea, and a lot of people say, ooh, that's disgusting. I ended up starting drinking unsweet tea when I was about 18, 19, maybe 20, and I was waitress at a steakhouse, a spaghetti and steakhouse, and um, everybody would order unsweet tea, and I didn't think anything about it. Uh, like, when you're a waitress and you're serving people food, you end up like serving food or you serve like drinks or something, you're like, ooh, that looks so good, and you just had to keep serving it, and then finally you have to drink it or eat it to get off your mind. And uh, I end up trying unsweet tea, and uh, I I end up liking it. So, and at the time I was trying to lose weight, and I was like, "There's no calories in this. It's still got a little bit of caffeine in it." So, win win. And I just I, ever since I've been hooked on unsweet tea. So that's that's how I got hooked on unsweet tea. So make fun of me in the comments. Let me make fun of me all the time. Um, we went to Bargain Barn. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see me because the sun is so bright. We're driving into the sun right now. But we have a bargain barn around here, and we spent about twenty-seven dollars, I'd say. We had like he ended up spending like twenty-one forty-nine, and then I spent a few bucks on a uh, pop socket and mount for the vehicle. And let's see, let's see. It's a phone stand, and it's it's actually pretty cool. So we're going to put it in here. Can I move it around? Stick the phones and tablets directly or on their on their cases. Yeah. So I don't know. It's gonna be um, the stand looks pretty cool. <gasps> Just eyes. That's all. Just eyes. Um. Anyway, that's my pop socket I got. I don't know if you guys can see it if it's focusing or not. Right there it is. Um, I spent like, what was that, three bucks? Three bucks for this, so pretty good deal. Considering that he spent like, I don't know where my phone's at. Oh, it's my part. He spent like 15 on my little pop socket, and I didn't get those things. So, I got a lot of things for a dollar, makeup wise, at this bargain, bargain barn. And uh, one being, right here, I got the Katie Cat Eye. I guess Katie's he had I in it. Caddy cat. Caddy cat I. Ten Katie cat I. You think so? Yeah. That's what I said first time. I doubt myself. So anyway. Katie cat I. And it's ten times volume and fullness. Ten times plus volume. It's um three hundred and sixty all day cat eye. Um yeah. Cover girl, and it's by Katy Perry. Ah, oh, it's Katy Perry, and it's blue. I'm in Perry blue, so I I have Katy Perry mascara in blue. Why did I say Caddy? I should know that. I was to say Perry. I'm so retarded. <laughs> Caddy, it's Caddy Perry. <laughs> Caddy Perry, guys. <laughs> okay, Katy Perry. <laughs> I'm tired. Let me look. So. Um, I'm excited to try this out. I'll be trying this out for a dollar. I mean, it's worth it. And then I got the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Soft Touch Concealer. And it's by CoverGirl. As you guys can see, we're on a bumpy little road. Um, I figured I'd just go ahead and do this because the drive home is boring and I just figured I'd get this out of the way. And then I also got the So Lashy by CoverGirl. And it is Blast Pro Mascara. I got a lot of mascara today. Oh, nice. I got a lot of mascara today. Um, bold, sexy lashes for all lash types. Sexy. So, yeah, pretty much. It's, um, yeah. It's got a lot of little things to it. So, I mean, 
a dollar. Well worth it. Um, I did get two of these. I am doing Christmas stuffers already, and I um, since we have so many people, we have shop for for Christmas, and. Uh, <laughs> It gets kind of pricey, so I kind of shop all year long and just get like little stocking stuffers and put them in a bag, and I already have I have my Christmas shopping done when Christmas time comes. So I got two of these, one for me, and then whoever got to get the other one too. I thought it'd be fun. <coughs> these is nail pearls, and uh, pretty much I think that you paint your nails and you place these pearls and you put a top coat on, and there's like a little applicator in there. I'm not quite sure if there's glue or what goes on. I don't know. It says it on the back. Work on one nail at a time. Duh. Apply two coats of polish to a single nail. Place your finger over the tray while polish is wet. Pour pearls over nail, covering entire nail. When nail is fully covered, wait 20 seconds and lightly press on the pearls. Place the funnel into the pearls bottle. Tilt tray into funnel to pour pearls back into the bottle. Repeat, repeat process for each nail. Wait 20 minutes for nails to fully dry. Enjoy Pretty Woman Nail Pearls Manicure. So, technically, I'm going to be doing my nails for like a long freaking time. 20 minutes per nail. Girl. Unless I just do them all at once and mess them up and all that stuff. So, this might not be a good little thing, but I don't know. We're going to test it out and see if that'd be fun. For a dollar, you can't beat it. It'd be fun to try. Maybe when your nieces would like that. I got an extra one to give somebody. Anyway, I also got another mascara. Go figure. Since I got all kinds of mascara. Because, like I said, if you don't open it, it don't go bad. So I got, well, I guess it doesn't. Would it go bad? If you don't open it? I don't think it would go bad if you don't open it. So I don't know. I, I'm i going to use it. So if I get an eye infection and go blind, that's on me. But um, I personally don't think it goes bad if you never open it. So anyway, um, Plumpifying Blast Pro. I can't see because the sun's right in my eyeballs. Um, it's by CoverGirl. It's 50 times the volume. And uh, yeah, I um, am excited to try the four lashes because I used to wear the falsies and do the glue and glue them on and lose them and it's just too much hassle and worry about eye infections and getting glue in my eyes and all that stuff. So I gave up lashes, fake lashes, which I, don't get me wrong, I'll probably wear them. I'll probably wear them in the future. But as of right now, I just rather wear mascara and that's what I've been wearing. And oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see this, but the sun is horrible. Maybe you guys can see it. Okay, there we go. And that's what I got. I mean, it's a dollar. So. And I'm not even nearly done. And look how much stuff I've got right here. I've got a lot of stuff today. Um, this one looked kind of bad, but it was not open, and I wanted to try it. I mean, it was a dollar, but it looked kind of bad. Um, it's brownish black, and it's Maybelline Volume Express Mascara. The falsies, big eyes, and um, it's never been open, like I said. It's my understanding it's never been open. I don't think it's open. Um, I also got a lip pencil and 
this lip pencil is CoverGirl by Lip Perfection. Um, you know, you can harden that nail polish one. Loader? Mouth guard from. Really? <coughs> TV light. Do you know how long that would take? Um, I actually do have a toothpaste coming in the mail. Um, we're uh, affiliated with uh, Active Wow, and they're sending me a uh, new toothpaste that's being released out, and it's uh, to brighten your teeth. But if you use my code, Miss Patricia Ann 20, you get 20% off. So if you're interested in trying this toothpaste with us, I'll put the link down in the description. But here's my code again, Miss Patricia. And uh, you get 20% off any active well. You don't have to just get toothpaste. You get um, the charcoal powder he's tried. Yeah, we both tried the charcoal powder. And um, what else we tried? The uh, LD or LED uh, teeth whitening kit. It, it, it's LED. <coughs> no, it was LED. LED. LED on the box. Uh, it's LED teeth whitening um, kit. Or uh, any of it, you can get 20% off. You don't even have to get those products. So there's all kinds of products on Active Wow. So I've got a massive headache right now, so if I'm going through this real quick, I'm sorry. But any Active Wow products on their site, with my code, you get 20% off. So I mean, it's worth it. So save some money. You can see I'm a big bargain shopper. So if I can save money, I'm going to save money. Um, I actually got another mascara because apparently that's all I had. Like you're going to be like, girl, how are you going to use all this mascara? Trust me, I use this mascara. Um, is volume. Mascara with something volume boosting complex, and um, it's by how you pronounce that? Remiel? R I M M E L? Remiel London? I don't know, but anyway, that's what we got for a dollar. It's never been opened. I'm running out of fingers, guys. I'm running out of fingers. I still got more in here. I still got our bag with here, too. I got some. Bebe Lips, Lip Gloss, Lip Chapstick, whatever you want to call it. I love my chapstick. I actually need to put some more because my lips is dry. My lippy is dry. And I'm um, sorry, I was like on our property to see what's going on down there. Um, color Tattoo Metal. And I'm pretty sure it's just like, um, it's iStudio 24 hour tattoo metal. Oh my goodness, it's 24 hour. I guess it lasts for 24 hours. I gotta be careful using this. Be permanent. <laughs> Maybelline New York color tattoo metal 24 hour by <clears throat> iStudio. I don't know anything about this. I have to look into it, but I got it in blue. I'm running out of hands. I got one more product in here. If I can just find it. Oh, I got more, one more product. Yep, I got one more product. Yep, there it is. I got the exact same thing, but I also got it in gold. So, I mean, there's a dollar. You can see right there. Everything was a dollar. But, I got to read into that because what if it's permanent? Anywho, that's, look at all that stuff I got. For a dollar a piece. So, I stopped getting subscription boxes for the time being. For one, I'm trying to save money. I like a bargain shop and all that. Uh, two, I just, I felt like I was getting the same things over and over and over and I kept telling Glenn, I was like, if I cancel my subscription boxes, I'd much rather spend that money and go out and buy different kinds of makeup anyway. And I feel like I'm getting what I want because I get to pick out what I want. And I mean, it's nice doing subscription boxes. I miss doing subscription boxes, but I just, it's, it got boring to me after a while. But I still do spoilers for you guys. I will probably go back to them. And getting myself again in the near future, but right now I'm having fun bargain shopping. Um, I actually got this big bag, big bag of dog bones for two dollars and 49 cents. Look at that, that's a good deal, isn't it? And considering that he bought, he actually, I don't know why you guys keep falling, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Hurts my soul. We keep dropping you guys. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Lynn gets these at Walmart. He spends like almost four bucks for these. I got these for a dollar. Exact same thing and everything. Aren't they the exact same thing? Yeah. Wait, there's like a little hard. 
Can they be nasty and hurt her? Probably not. Anyway, we got these at the bargain barn for a dollar. So, and Ella loved them at Walmart. So hopefully they're still fresh and she still likes them this way. And then I got two packs of those since she likes those. And then I also got these. I thought these would be fun. They're little dingo boomer boomerangs. So I thought it'd be fun. First into the taste. Made of real chicken, low in fat. So, I feel like I got a good deal at the Bargain Barn today. We also went to Walmart and... We also went to Walmart and we got a few different, like, little pillows. One for Ella and then two of them for us. I got the pink. She got teal and Glenn got blue. And then, what else did we get at Walmart? Oh, we did a couple taste tests today. And I have videos of those for you guys. Um, what's about taste it? Taste tests. Yeah, we taste tested the uh, mangoes. Oh. We taste tested mangoes, sour cream, sour cream, something ranch, and um, then some bunos. Bunos. What is, what is it? Beanie. Beanie. What? What was that other one we tried? Bueno. Oh, buenos. <laughs> And you guys, I am going to call this haul. Um, we also got toilet paper. Um, that's my shopping haul for the day. So I will see you guys in my very next video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you in my very next video. And fingers crossed that we eventually get a house so that I can do all kinds of different other videos. And it's driving Glenn crazy and he says I'm giving him gray hair because that's all I'll talk about. So I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye-bye.